and what is up everybody Jeremy here excited to bring you another Starfield ship building video and today we ask what do you get when you combine together a Crimson Fleet Ghost and a Mako a Tayo Mako well you get the Mako Spirit that's right everybody this build is brought to you by the Paradiso Exploration Society where we explore so you don't have to this is a class C ship and even though it looks small it is heavy. It is loaded with a lot of cargo. <laughs> and yes, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. And of course, don't forget you can find all the parts that are used in this build found in the description below to this Google Sheet. Check it out, reference it, see how you would like to use it. Of course, you can also turn this to a class B or class A ship. Just change a lot. You get the same a lot of look get a lot of the same look. And yes, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's look at this ship. This is one of the coolest ships that we've been able to create here. Love it. Love it. Ah, let's 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 tear it apart. Let's bring it into three main sections. This port, starboard, and um, middle section. And yes, we are duplicating a lot of landing gear. Because one, it needs to also support the weight of the ship. I'm gonna also start tearing off the engine pieces this is so i'm currently at the landing bay with shipyard and this part is not available at the shipyard so i need to duplicate it so look at how many pieces that i have oops so look at how many pieces i'm glitching in here there's so many there are so many i think i counted 32 we, we count one side one so doing this is also not it's not only to support the weight of all the cargo but to also add additional hull to the ship this is the best hull to mass ratio landing gear or module it's three hull to one mass as i pull out see how many did i duplicate here i think kind of like 30 so that's 30 on each side crazy right One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's put ten. Ten. So that's twenty. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. Oh, twenty-nine. I was counting the 30s already. <laughs> 29. 30. Now we're in the 30s. 31. 32. 33. 34. 34 of them, guys. There's 34 of them here. So 34 on each side. So there's, what, 68? We're looking at about 68 of these guys. Amazing. So yes, this is a glitch build, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't figured that out, this is totally a glitch build. Let's delete this all real quick. Oh, deleted everything. Whew, so much is built. I'm going to pull out the engines. I'm, what I'm going to do is put four in the middle and two in the sides. Just to duplicate all the pieces. To be able to duplicate, like use the duplication glitch to do this, um, without being at the star yard that they they were at, they were built at. Yeah, let's start here. <laughs> I guess we start here. This is the this is the hope for landing bay, everybody. This is a hope for landing bay. Um, let me see. I well, I'm gonna do something different because like I know I put these in here. Uh. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep it the way it is. Because, like, I didn't talk about crew. I didn't specifically build this with a crew in mind. But if you know that you're maximizing on fuel efficiency, then you know that you don't need um, these two pieces. You know you don't need these. Um, you don't. You know you don't need 500 fuel to cover. You you only need... Yeah, just shoot. Let's, let's, let's say that you are optimizing your crew here. 
let's say you're out optimizing food, we have a control station. So that means we have six, we have spots for six crew members here. And if you're using good old um, Sarah, she doesn't count. So you could have seven crew members on here if you use Sarah. All right, there you go. We're gonna go, we're gonna use this piece instead. We are gonna use the 500C HE3 tank. Um, and that might add more hull to, to the system. So we're gonna just add more hull. That's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna add more hull to, to this, uh, through landing gear pieces. Okay, we're starting, we're finally starting. We have the Hope, five, Hope 4 landing bay here. Um, on top of that, we're gonna bring over the Deimos control station two by one and the Hope 11 docker to the front. To the back, we are gonna have, okay, we have a lot of glitch pieces here. We're just gonna move over one Galleon ST04 cargo hold and then we're gonna bring over the, um, something, is, oh, I, I duplicated this a few times. Oh, why, I, I just, okay, you know what? We're gonna optimize this a little bit. <laughs> I'm only gonna use one. I'm gonna put more into the Pinpoint 3G since they have a lot more value compared to duplicating these guys. But I understand why I did that. Cool. Um, to the front, we're gonna bring over the Armstrong 10 cockpit and right behind that we have the Hope Tech Companionway Fuselage A. And attached to this, we already have two PBO-175 Auto Helion beams. Um, what should we start with for glitching? <laughs> so much. Let's start by separating this piece out. So there's a lot of pieces that go in here. So you see that there's one cargo right there. I believe you have one, two, three, four more attached to this piece right here. So we're gonna do, we're just gonna take one, that's a wicked way to do it. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna do it that way. <laughs> but okay, so we are gonna do the duplication buddy glitch. So I'm gonna merge this down into this piece right here. We're gonna do that for like all these pieces and four of these pieces all into this area right here. So that's what we're going to do. Um, and to do that, I'm gonna bring over a, the closest thing is going to be the Deimos Companionway one by one. Bring that over right here, duplicate it twice. I'm gonna duplicate this twice as well. Um, and yeah, that's it, right? Duplicate it twice so I can, I, so what I'm trying to do, okay, so duplication buddy glitch rules. One, you may be able to duplicate the piece in your star yard, the, st the shipyard that you are in right now. So technically you're buying it, or if you are essentially, another way you can delete one of the existing pieces like, Example, all four, of, all, I mean, all six of these pieces, like, I, this is not available as a starter, but if I delete one, just, that means there's one still available, so I can duplicate it. All right, so that's, that's what we need. So that's how I'm going to, that's how I'm going to duplicate these into place, is by remo deleting one and be able to duplicate it. So that's the first rule. Second rule, you need to be able to move this to an existing snap point. So it just it doesn't have to be available. It could be already com um, it could already be used and com uh, what's it? And yeah, it could already be used. Um, and third, is that is there three? I thought it had four. Uh, I guess third, your buddy needs to have a top and bottom snapping point to it to help glitch it down. So kind of thing. So why I'm duplicating it right now? So. One of the things with any duplication glitch, it likes to go to an open snapping point first before it goes into a closed one. So what I'm going to do is select this, then shift, click, drag, select the, the helper body and the helper buddy on the bottom. Hit Control G, hit Duplicate it down, hit Enter to accept the movement, and it's in there. So I need to do this. Wait, how many times do I need to do this? Shoot. Just delete. Just uh figure out where this is. All right, so I need to duplicate four more. Is that what I'm understanding? All right, I need to put four more in there. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do, just help, like, help minimize confusion. I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna duplicate one. So I know that I need to duplicate four here. I'm gonna put this guy on top. <laughs> so I can remember how many I need to do. All right, shift, click, drag, duplicate down. Controller, same method. 
um, you're gonna tap RB, select the module you wanna duplicate, select R, tap RB to select the helper buddy, tap Y to duplicate it down, then tap A to accept it. You're gonna tap LB to see if everything is in there, it's good? All right, it's good, cool. So that's two, we need two more. Two, three, four, cool. And if I delete these, I should have the same amount of cargo as before. I have one extra. Oh, that's the one right there. All right, perfect. We're set. Nice. All right, delete these, and I'm gonna move this over because I know I need to glitch some. Use the help helpers in here to help glitch things down. All right, next single piece. We're gonna bring over 500T HE3 tank. Duplicate up with this guy. Duplicate up. Oops. Oh, something's not connected here. So we're gonna move over the reactor. Get up top. Okay, looks good. Duplicate it down. Then duplicate the second piece down. Perfect. Delete, delete, check. Good to go. Move the this guy over. Now I'm gonna duplicate it down. Sure, why not? Let's duplicate it down. Put it in there. This will make this will make duplicating easier here. Perfect. Oh, engines. Let's do the engines first. I should have done this before I put this. In. Oh, I, I guess it doesn't matter. All right, it's gonna duplicate. Oh, all right. So I need to delete some of these guys. I'm gonna delete all of them. Sure. Why not? Duplicate once. Oh, I moved my mouse. Duplicate once. Did I move my mouse? Uh, okay, just give myself some space. Shift click drag, duplicate, enter. Perfect. Select the one on the bottom, shift click drag, duplicate, enter. Delete the one on top. I'm gonna do this a few more times. Oops. Or maybe not delete the one on top. It there. One, two, three. All right, cool. Yep, that's all of them. Perfect. And then duplicate this down once. Just once, just once. That's right. I want it kind of sticking out to make it look like it's part, it's like kind of meshing into the, um, the Demos Tail A hill over here. Did I talk about my parts? <laughs> that was the Apollo G3200 grab drive, everybody, and that's the, um, that's the SF40 sheared float reactor. Let me put in the assurance, the assurance, can you see this here? No, the assurance, uh, most the class C shield, most powerful one out there. Duplicate this down once. That's all we need to do. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to do. So I kind of wanted to create this look, where, yeah, and that's why I wanted to have the the grab drive just up once, just a little bit, to look like it's meshing, like look like it's meshing with the Demos tail A over here. So that's what I wanted to do. All right. On that tail, we have two PBO-175 auto helium beams attached to that. And we also have the auto helium beams attached to the companionway fuselage. <laughs> I'm checking something. Do I have a bunch of... Yeah, I do. That's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> it's like, did I duplicate this a bunch of times? I sure did. All right. What's next on the list? Um... Okay, think this through. Let's go ahead and 
let's move these pieces. Let's move these pieces over here to the side. So what we have here is we have the Teo Midcat port in its port top four orientation, and to the front of that we have the Teo Braking Engine in its port orientation. We're gonna move this out to the side because we have some glitching in here to do. Um, yeah, that's it. So we move those to the side. Same thing on this part. We're going to move over to Teo Cap A in its starboard top orientation and bring over the Teo braking engine in starboard orientation. Now, we're going to move this, get ready for more glitches. So there are more glitches here. Um, what to start with first? I think I'm going to end with the. Um, all the landing gear last. I'll do that last. So I'm gonna bring this to right to the back of the tail mid cap on each side. All right, and then I'm gonna duplicate this up or duplicate this up once on each side. Right. Oh, what's wrong with this? One? That's this guy. This guy's getting in the way. All right. So brought that up. On each side, so we can bring in our Davos Tail A's, remove the Delphire 1750 suppressors, bring one on the, um, to the back of each of these guys. So those are just little helpers. Select both of these guys, shift click drag, shift click drag, shift click drag, control G to duplicate, accept it by hand. Oh, I moved my mouse. Shoot. Yeah, try not to move your mouse. Accept it. There you go. Now it's set. Uh, let's double check, make sure everything is good. Everything is connected, perfect. So we're gonna delete these two helpers now. Move over to Demo Spine A in its four orientation to the front and going to delete a bunch of these guys. Oh, I'm gonna bring the PB-175 back. I'm gonna connect the 1750 suppressors here on each side. We do something interesting. So instead of um, duplicating the Vanguard of the Raider Arbitrators in that current spot, I could actually just move the pieces that they attach to over. So I'm gonna delete. Um, yeah, okay, I'll delete it all right there, that's fine. So then we're gonna add in Vanguard of Auto Projectors, Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors, each of these. And then what I'm going to do is have our helper here. I can select them all. Delete these guys, leave two. And what I'm going to do is shift click drag over these three pieces, duplicate it up first. Perfect. And then I'm actually going to move this up higher. And then we can just duplicate this down once and then twice. And that should get our Vanguard Obliterator Auto Projectors back full power perfect and then you can take these pieces and move it back to its current spot so that's one that's a fun way that's an easy way to do it okay next part um gonna move these out for a little bit i'm gonna put in the our fun buddies here we're gonna but so how should i do this i am going to move these out it's time to bring in a bunch of our Pinpoint 3G landing gear. I'm going to sample this guy real quick. Sample the colors. Enter. So now I have that in my most recent. Perfect. Even though you're not going to see them. So I'll bring one on this side. Bottom. Perfect. Oops. 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 Duplicate this guy. Bring one over to the other side. Now, this might seem like it's an awkward position to duplicate. So I'm just gonna move these to the side to kind of help me in this orientation I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna, one, I'm gonna try to duplicate it down first. So I'm gonna try to duplicate it down. It's probably gonna duplicate it up. Oh, it did, perfect. So now that it's in its lower orientation, right? So we are just going to set up a spot where we can do this a whole bunch of times and delete these three on the bottom um, I should not be using these actually I should be using I should be using our 
everything was whole A because I want to look at my hole right here to help me gauge how many we need. I know it's like 34. All right, so here we go. Shift click, drag three up once, two, three. Oop. What did I do? Oh, that's what I did. So I moved away. I moved my mouse accidentally. Let me actually bring this down lower. Maybe that'll help. I don't know. Yeah, be careful not to move your mouse. Ugh. This is where I think the controller can has that has its advantages, because all you have to do is tap RB and select these three. Almost there, guys. Almost there. What we do to hide a bunch of modules together? Merge these a bunch of times. That's nothing nothing's really connected right now. But look at how much hole we're getting out of this. It's, it's kind of impressive. When you think about it. It's like you're not trying to increase the size. You're not increasing the size of the ship. You're just putting more modules in the same spot, making it more Dense. This is a dense ship. It's small, but it's dense. This was like the first Class C I've done in a long time. I haven't done a Class C. So kind of, kind of neat to try this out. Keep it small and compact. And there we go. Oh, one more, one more. Because we're deleting it to the bottom. Alright, we hit blue. We finally hit blue. And of course, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to put some stats in here. Make it work the way I want to. So bring it in. Flip glitch time. Flip once, flip twice. Oh. Uh oh, where'd it go? Uh oh. be a problem. Oh. Uh oh. Alright. Duplication buddy glitch. Duplication buddy glitch for the win. Use it. 
has a top and bottom slot to it. Shift click drag. Shift. Shift click drag. Shift click drag. Shift click drag. Duplicate it down. Perfect. Crazy. I hope everything is good and see what we're missing here. Invalid dock position, landing gear misaligned, ship has unattached mod. Alright, perfect. That's these three. And we're going to just flip glitch these guys in. So, rules for the flip glitch one the module needs to already be in the work area. Two, it needs a snapping point. And the snapping point we're going to use is this bottom one right here underneath the tail mid cap. And then all you have to do is bring it in. Flip once, flip twice, flip three times into its origi original orientation. Then hit cancel by tapping tab or escape. And it should be in there. Double ch click to check. Perfect. Do the same thing on the controller. You're going to bring this in. You're going to tap A to select the piece. Slide it under where you want it. Tap Y to flip it to its orientation that you want it to be. Then tap A to, or tap B to cancel. Then tap LB and select the ship. Make sure everything's good to go. Everything's good to go. We are nominal, everybody. What do we do differently? Oh, that's right. We changed our our fuel fuel tanks. So that's the only thing we did differently. Because we are maxed out on skills in this character. Whew. I think we added... Oh, because of that, we also, we also added more hull. That's awesome. Wait, could I have added more hole? I'm not gonna not I'm not gonna do it. I just want to know because I didn't I didn't I wasn't checking. We could have added more hole. Oh, doesn't matter. We're good. So what we're trying to do is just add more gear to the point where um to the point where we're not affecting mobility. So that's what we're doing. We're adding more landing gear, adding more hole and adding mass to the point where it's not affecting mobility. So right now we're saving on mass, we're adding more hull because we did make a change into um, to the gas that we use. So that means we had more mass available, but this is good. 1661 is pretty good. You could add more, or probably 25 more mass. 25 more additional mass, because that's what we're saving, right? I think that's what we're saving. Level check. But yeah, you're saving 33, maybe maybe it's 17 more mass. Just just from trying to remember off of my head. You're probably saving 17 more mass, which means you could add 17 more gear pieces, meaning you triple the hole. So this could get into the 1700s. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Not gonna do it. It takes a lot. So that's like 60 pieces. No, that's like 30 more pieces. So. Um, Already counted six. The original is 64. We probably had 70 in there. Add another 30, so 90 additional gear pieces there. Woo! Wow. All right, that's it. We're done. You could potentially add more hull to this ship. And you know what? I'll do that. I'll add that in the um the the go sheet. Like how much hull you can really get out of this piece, because that's kind of crazy. Let's take a tour. A make o spirit. How you doing, buddy? Oh, actually, let me check the let me check the crew. So we should have a full max crew. We have Andresia, Perfect, Barrett, Omari, Sam, Sarah, Vasco. Oh, you should have another guy here. So you could have. There's room. No, there's there isn't room. No, there is one. There's room for Moara. So Mora can give you 5% more to um, enter, uh, EM weapon systems. But yeah, so EM weapon has a 5% bonus with Vasco. You can add another 5% with um, Moara. Moari. Moara. Oh, let's repair this thing. What did I do? I forgot to repair. All right. Tour time. The Mako Spirit, everybody. Combining the Crimson Fleet's ghost with Reading the Mako Tayo Mako gives you the Mako Spirit. 
Here we are in the control station. This is the Deimos companion, or Deimos control station. And here's the companion way, the fuselage. Yes. That's the fuselage. There's Vasco right there, just in his. Um, what do you want to call this? The curled up fetal position. All right. Let's take a seat. Let's play our battle music. It's battle music time, everybody. Let's do this. Let's go over. This time, let's go to the server. Let's do something different. Let's go to the server. This. We've been using Cricks for a while. Did I stop all the audio? Oh, hold on. There we go. Now let's stop it. Let's do it. Alright, this has a base top speed of 130, so it's probably a good idea to have some guys in here that increase that speed. So let's go ahead. Oh, there's a dude here already. Hello, dude. Look at that. Alright, there you go. So obviously, I'm using console codes. Alright, let's go to uh, Serpentis. This is, I think this, I think this is what I want to use. Let me see here. You get a feel. So it's like this. All right, let's go to Serpentis. We haven't been there in a while. That used to be our, like our old, always go-to playground before we started. Hey, we could just rock out at Crix and take down the Crimson Fleet. So here we go. Let's let's take it to Serpentis. Okay, let's see here, are they going to just pop up, are they just going to pop up and say hello? Hello. Some big hits already man. Oh! <laughs> I destroyed it too quickly! Um, okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Hostile activity. Good. I wanted to disable one of them. Dirge coming up. Kiss it. Hey! And then, let's take it out. Hey! Pretty sweet looking ship. Pretty sweet looking ship. So that is your Mako Spirit, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. But other than that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. More videos coming soon. That was a fun. No, just hanging back to the story. The, the just the, the was it brought to you by the Paradiso Exploration Society. If they're going out in the world, if they're collecting things for Paradiso, they're gonna need big cargo. And why not do it in a ship that looks like this, combining some other fine ships out there? All right, guys. Have yourselves an amazing day. We're gonna see you all next time. Peace out. And thank you so much for all love and support as always. Without you, we just wouldn't be doing what we're doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you all real soon. Peace.